Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add icons, drop downs, and links to your Dash AG grid table. Here we have our drop downs, female, male. The user cannot put any text, they can only choose from the drop down. Here we have icons or images that we're adding to the stock market column based if it's true or false or if it's a stock market or not. And here we have links. We click on the newspaper link, it'll lead us to a newspaper. Television link will lead us to National Geographic, and so on and so on. So how do we add icons, drop down, and links to the Dash AG grid table? Well, we do it with this code. This code you can find in my GitHub repo. I will put this repo um, and this code under the, the video. You can see here, AG Grid, go into icon drop down link, and you will see here the, the images or the icons that we will add to the table and the app itself. I recommend you download it and then um, run it with me so it's easier to follow along. Now for this code to work, make sure to install Dash AG Grid Alpha 5. It might work with future versions, but I would recommend installing this version um, to make sure. So just pip install. Make sure to pip install dash bootstrap and install pandas. Okay, so here we are reading this CSV file into a pandas data frame with all the columns. And then these two sections is what we are going to go over. In these two sections, we're adding an image to the column and a link to the source column. And then we'll go over uh, the drop down of the female male uh, gender column. Right? All the rest, uh, we're not going to focus on right now. Uh, this is just default column definitions. This is just a default um, uh, dash age of grid uh, table which I'll go over in future videos to show you how to how to manipulate these properties. And here is just our layout where we only have a, a title and a table inside this row and column. So you see a title and then a table that is that is 10 columns wide. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is drop down. How are we adding this drop down female male? So we know that we want to add the dropdown to the gender column. So to do that, we are going to go into the column definition list of dictionaries because we are building this column definition that at the end is going to be assigned to the column definition property of AG Grid. So this is how our AG Grid table uh, will know what are the column definitions. So this is a list of dictionaries. Every dictionary is a different column. The first column happens to be the gender column, right? The gender. And to add the drop down, you need this section right here. So you have to you have to assign to the built-in cell editor key, dictionary key. You have to assign ag select cell editor. So this always stays the same. And then you have to assign to this a dictionary key cell editor parameters the parameters that you want inside the drop down so you'll put values this should always stay the same uh, almost always and then these are the options for the drop down in our case we want female male but you can you can put any option you want i think you can put i don't know female or let's say dad mom save it and you'll see this automatically uh, uh, reloads the data with the uh, initial um, gender row data, female, male. But the drop downs will have dad or mom and different drop downs. So in this, in this case, it doesn't make sense to have different drop downs because our original data is female, male. But if you change this, you can change the drop down values. Okay. Now this is for drop. Uh, this is method you will use if you want the same options throughout the whole gender column. So it's always going to be female, male, female, male. The same options. If you want different options of drop down per row, here you want female, male. Here you want option one, option two. Then 
use this link control click and here my friend Anne Marie uh, will teach you how to add different options option one option five two different rows uh, in your AG grid table okay you can just view the code and you'll see how to do this now this will become even easier to do once you understand how to add links and images to the data frame so now let's look at links how do we add these links we're going to add links to the source column so we'll go to the source here we go this section um, uh, code line 26 and we are going to right now our data frame our source column has um, where is the source? Uh, these texts, newspaper, consultants, television. But we want to turn this text into a markdown uh, link. Okay. So to do that, what you have to do first is go to the columns definition to the source dictionary, the source um, section right here, and make cell renderer, make it markdown. This has to be, the cell renderer needs to render markdown because it's only with markdown that you're able to read links and images. So now that we have that, we'll go into, we'll create an empty link source list and we'll say 4x in DX, uh, DF uh, source, right? So 4x, it's a loop. The first one will be newspaper, then consultants, then television. If x equals newspaper, which is true in the first case, newspapers, then append add to this list this string and what this string is is just markdown of a link so this is exactly the same as this our x becomes newspapers like that let's make this double quote and our link becomes like like that right if x equals newspaper but if x equals television then it's going to look like this television will be here so this is how this link will look like television and then the link to the television well national geographic not not le figaro will be like this okay um so this really depends on, this is how you can add different links to different rows based on the row, on the rows, uh, on the cell value. And once we have our full link source, every single, every single row has its own link. Now we can just replace the original DF source column, replace this column right here with the new, with a new list of links, right? And that is how you get this right here. Newspaper, consultants, television, and so on and so on. All right, now we're gonna do a similar process for adding images to our uh, data frame, to our stock market column, all right? So instead of stock market retirement, uh, stock market yes, no, yes, no, we will replace these values with um, yes will will be replaced with this check mark and no will be replaced with this X small image icon so to do that don't forget to go since since our images are also a kind of a string uh, this is a markdown in other words go into the column in the column definitions make sure that where you define the stock market column header make sure the cell renderer is marked down I forgot to do this and I was pulling my hair out under trying to figure out for 20 minutes why it's not working so add this into the column definition okay so now that we have that the first thing we're going to do is we'll create um, we'll import the image into two different variables danger variable will have the prohibited PNG and safety will have the safe PNG now these have to live these images have to live inside your assets folder you have our app and then our assets folder will have prohibited and safe these two images or or icons these are 16 by 16 pixels right so because 
these live inside the assets folder, now I can just say app get asset URL. This will be the first image, and this will be the second image. Save.png. Now this is if you want to look into the internet and see how how you define images with Markdown. This is how you define it. This is just um, text that the computer will read in case the image is broken. Let's read prohibited two. This image doesn't exist. And now you'll see that because the app cannot show prohibited two, there is no image called prohibited two. It will say dangerous market. Dangerous market, you see? This is just um, helpful for screen readers. So you can, you can say here whatever you want. This is usually just the, your description of the image. OK, so now that we have our variables with the images, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to create an empty list, market icons. We're going to loop over the DF stock market column. Stock market column, yes, no, yes, yes, no, no. And then we're going to say, if x equals no, in add to this list the danger, the danger um, uh, markdown image. Else, it's it's equals yes because the only only other option is yes. Then add the safety the safety image. And this right here is the same thing as it's exactly like this. Right. This is exactly what this is right here. Danger or safety if you want safety. And then we replace the stock market column, all the yes, no's values. We replace them with the new list of, of uh, icons, right? And that is how we get our stock market column with new images. You can even add, I think you can even add two images right here. Space, danger, save, and this should add two images, right? You see? One next to one next to the other. So that's how you add links, uh, drop downs, and images or icons to your dash AG grid table. Uh, I hope you learned a lot. I hope this was helpful. If it is, don't forget to um, sign up or uh, become a member on uh, YouTube or join my Patreon if you want to support this channel. Uh, turn on your notifications so you can uh, get notified when a new video comes out. And stay tuned. I'm going to create more and more videos to help you learn how to um, uh, work with Dash AG Grid. Until next time, see you later. Don't forget, we're always uh, better together, so help each other out. Bye-bye.